All right, so I have a quick little announcement to everybody in this uh, in this bonfire. So all of you guys have had a heartbreak, right? Every single person here has had their heart split into four, correct? Yeah. yeah. Probably more. Yeah, all four thousand. chambers, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had my heart ripped out my ass. My heartbreak is actually pretty recent. Uh, I got dumped from a four-year relationship this past June. So I was about 21. You know, just becoming an adult, but I was still pretty young. Um, still a little stupid. I mean, even now I'm still a little stupid at age 29, but I don't know. Maybe that'll get better in another nine years. We'll see. I was dating this girl and I knew I was going to marry this girl. All right. She knew she was going to marry me. We were talking about marrying each other and she was talking to my mom about marrying me. It was a set deal. And if it was... If it had gone another week, I would have been buying a ring for her. I would be engaged. Since you said what the video was going to be about, um, my heart's been beating really fast because this is recent and something that I haven't told a lot of people even in real life. I was in a relationship from when I was 16. She was 15. And we were practically like picture perfect high school sweethearts. It was everything you could dream of. Yeah, it was just absolutely perfect. And two years down the road, I was at my job. I was 19. She was just graduating high school, going to college. I was off at my job. Actually, I'd leave the state for a month. And I get this call from her mom that she was in a horrible accident. It wasn't looking good for her. So I called up my boss, asked him, hey, can I leave there's something important i have to attend to back home and he was unfortunately caring enough to let me go back for a couple days so i rushed back as fast as i could i drove 18 hours that shit sucked <laughs> but i was about hitting minneapolis and i get another call from her mom saying that she passed away at the hospital and that it was a, uh, a drunk driver that T-boned her at an intersection. Since you said what the video was going to be about, um, my heart's been beating really fast because this is recent and something that I haven't told a lot of people even in real life. Um, I'm 21 and when I was 18 I got married to um, the guy that I'd known since I was 13, um, high school, love and all that. but. Um, Got married at 18 and everything to me was perfect. I was absolutely in love and everything. We're getting ready for bed and he says, hey, what's your deepest, darkest secret? And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I would have to think about it. I don't think I really have the deepest, darkest secret. Uh, what's yours? Because obviously he asked me that question and, and he had an answer f of his own in his mind. So um, I said, what's yours? And he got kind of giggly. He's like, I don't know. I can't really tell you. And he's like, you know, I'm worried, I'm worried about what you'll think or, and everything. And I said, it's fine. Like, you can tell me absolutely anything. And like, I'll still love you. Eventually, um, he took, he, um, <laughs> he said, I think your sister is cute. And my little sister, uh, a couple years younger than me. Oh, um, my God. yeah. And I'm like, well, at first my reaction was, well, everyone thinks she's cute because she is cute. So like, that's not surprising. And he said, I don't think you understand. I have a crush on her. And my world stopped at that moment. Like I said, I knew I was going to marry her, but, um, just out of the blue, just a complete 180 one night, she told me, I'm sorry, but, uh, I just, I just think we should, we should end it. And, you know, I tried to talk to her about it. I tried to figure out why, and she wouldn't tell me anything. And, um, the really bad part about it is I'd never got any closure. She never told me, you know, what the reason was for breaking up with me. But I don't want to, I don't want to end the story there because this breakup was a very, a very big, um, life-changing moment for me because after this breakup I was just depressed 
I was just, it was the first time and the only time when I felt like I couldn't get out of bed because I was just like, I didn't know what to do with my life. I didn't know how to progress. I was, I was at my lowest low, but I didn't like that. I didn't like that about myself. So I basically started dating myself as cheesy as that sounds. I started to figure out what made me happy not being dependent on anyone else because I knew that if I was going to have lasting happiness I couldn't depend on someone else for that and through several self exercises and getting to know myself I was able to get myself to a point where I can still date people I can still enjoy them I can still gain happiness from them but my entire state of happiness does not depend on them anymore so that was my worst heartbreak, but it was also the best thing that ever happened to me. I didn't get to say I love you that day because I was so busy. She was my entire world, everything like we we were joking about getting married and whatnot, but like we understood that we had our wives to take care of first. Like we were gonna go to college and then after college we were gonna get married and whatnot and start a family, but that was all abrupted because one person's poor choice. Not only did that person kill somebody, but they also killed me as well. My everything. My entire world crumbled in front of me. I didn't know what the fuck to do anymore. It was horrible. Horrible couple of years I spiraled. Yeah, if there's anything to take away from this, I'm talking to everybody. Please, please never drink and drive. Even if it's just like down the block. A lot can happen in a fraction of a second. If I could have switched positions with her, I would. She had much more going for her than I do. I carry on with you, man. She may not be here, but <laughs> she's here with you always. Like literally just before our four year anniversary, um, I had been with this guy for obviously four years and it was long distance so we were really trying to make it work and find a way for us to be able to live together and whatnot and he had this whole career dream where he wanted to be a musician and blah 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 and like he was working all of these full-time jobs and whatever and he ma kept making up excuses and I was like okay well I'll I had a good paying job at the time so I was like I'll help you you know, I'll cover your bills and whatever. And you say you're going to make it in like no time. So you can just pay me back. 15 grand later, uh, he ends up just ghosting me. Everything that I thought my world was about was just shattered in that moment. I didn't say anything for a long time. And he seemed annoyed that, that I was, um, having trouble with this. <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. Like he, I don't, I can't even explain it uh, clearly, but uh, he went on to say, yeah, I have this um, picture in my mind. Like I could, of just like holding her hand and your hand at the same time. This doesn't mean I don't love you. You can like two things at the same time. You can like both pizza and lasagna. It doesn't mean one's better than the other. He legit compared me to food, me and my sister start to cry and I'm trying to talk to him about it and he just says, I need to go to sleep, I have to go to work early in the morning. So a couple of days later, um, we're on the couch, I'm like, we need to talk, like I'm dying. He's, And he says, I don't want anything to change, but I just want to get off my chest. And so for me to be able to move on from this, I just want to tell you everything I'm thinking. I want to tell you the things that I like about your sister so I can move on from it. And he says, I like that she's small. I like the idea of being able to easily carry her on my, sh like, on my shoulders, the kind of clothes she wears. Um, it just, just her aesthetic and her personality. All he said was, forget about what I said. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll get right on that. Uh, so, but surprisingly enough, I had to move on with my life and I put it out of my mind and I didn't spend any more time with him though i started spending more time in vr chat that's when um, i got my computer and started playing vr chat and i realized after months that like i made friends here that you know my self-worth he brought my self-worth way down but um the friends on here helped me with that and realized 
you know, I like myself. I am uh, divorced now and I'm the happiest I've ever been. So don't feel bad for me now. Yeah. Later in that conversation, oh, when we were just me. silent and I was just yes. trying to figure out what was going on, I was like, I didn't know what to say. So I just said, I love you. And he replied, I love you. I just love you both. You are a Sunday with a cherry on top of just pure, amazing, awesome, <laughs> scrumptious, delicious. As of September of last year, and he just would never talk to me. He'd get angry with me anytime I would ask for his attention or any kind of affection or to spend time with me. He'd make up excuses saying that he couldn't stand to be alone with me because it was too quiet or he just needed sound because he needed to be around people and whatnot. Uh, until one night I got really, really frustrated and I was like, What's the point of us being together if you're just never going to be around or talk to me or never do anything with me? And he's like, well, you stress me out too much. You know, I can't do this anymore. And he talked so badly about me to all of his friends after everything that I did for him. I ruined my relationship with my parents with for him just because I loved him so much. And like I did so much for him. For him to just throw it away really broke my heart. And then recently I found out that he had already moved on to another girl. And it's like, I know for a fact, you're just going to talk the biggest amount of shit about me and pin me to be the bad guy when it's in fact him. And I just feel like I wasted four years of my life and $15,000 that I'm just never going to get back, which I'm still currently in debt for. So it's just a really crappy situation, but at least my relationship with my parents is mended and back to normal after all that. We love you, though. Oh, honestly, yeah. You can do so much better than this. Thank you. Thank you, Nessie. Meth that guy, bro. <laughs> Listen, you got that charisma. You got that charisma nailed down, dude. Like, I can see this coming into like a big thing. Hey, I'm Lucid, and you're watching Disney Channel. But on a serious note, I have the full version of this video on my Patreon site, so I have a couple of stories that were left out. If you want to see the full version of this video, check out my Patreon site. It is going to be somewhere on the screen right here. Also, my Patreon supporters get awesome benefits, like a stainless steel V card that's sent right to their house from me. They have access to a secret group chat in my Discord server, and they can DM me whenever they want on Patreon. I'm just letting you guys know what's out there. I'm not trying to be a salesman or nothing, you know, no pressure, no pressure. I'm just showing you what's good. I'm out. Peace. Yo, everyone say what's up to my next video. Yay! Yeah. Oh.